boom, you've just spawned into this weird apple realm and don't know the controls. I'll be your guide to macOS. This taskbar down here is called a dock. It's pretty much the same like Windows, but you can move it around easier and resize it easier. You'll notice black little dots under some apps, which means that they're open. You can drag things out of it that you don't like. Most things in macOS move by just dragging. You'll notice no search bar. You search with command space. If you learn keyboard shortcuts, your journey through the deep forest of macOS will be a lot easier. When you open an app, there are no menus unless you look up, because everything is glued to the top. That's the menu bar. It changes with every app. Pressing X doesn't close an app, it just closes its window. If there are no more windows, it doesn't care. See the dot in the dock. Press Command Q to close an app fully. One app that you can't close though is the Finder. That's the File Explorer. Inside of it, press Enter to rename a file and Command O to open a file or folder. Or just double click to open. Go View, Show Path Bar and Status Bar for a better experience. You install apps by dragging them into the application folder, which lives under Go, Applications. You uninstall by dragging it to Trash. Make sure to close the app first with Command Q though. Then there's the App Store, which also has some useful apps, not like the Windows Store. You can pinch with your hand to open this thing where all of your apps live. I never use it. It's a lot faster to open apps with the search bar command space. There's AirDrop, the thing that makes buying a Mac worth it. It easily transfers files, photos or things from your iPhone to Mac. Very useful, just don't forget to turn it on in the control center. Now on Mac and iPhone, everything also syncs together. It's like one device, but not really. If I type in a new note here, this will immediately show up on my iPhone. It's the same with Reminders and most other Apple apps. You can copy on Mac and paste on iPhone too, which I use every day. What you can't do with macOS is control volume per application. It's just all one volume. However, if you want to access those menus quicker, you can drag them over here. See, you can drag everything. Safari is the default browser. It's pretty okay, but it doesn't have many of the extensions that Chrome or Firefox have. You also get extensions through the App Store. Swipe up with three fingers to get to Mission Control. It's like Control Tab, but not really. Command Tab is actually actually control tab here. Speaking of command, there are three modifier keys on Mac instead of two. Command is basically control on Windows, so you copy and paste with it. Command C, Command V. Option is Alt and this guy, I don't know, you have to use it sometimes, like switching virtual desktops. The what? When you go into Mission Control, swipe up with three fingers, you can create another desktop. Just think of it as another free monitor where you can put apps and other stuff. Switch between those by swiping like this. Instead of closing apps, you can hide them with Command H. This will only show them in Command plus Tab and the dock, but they will not appear inside of Mission Control or any of your desktops. To unhide an app, just switch to it. To delete something, use Command Back space. And to empty trash, command shift delete. Or you can do it the rookie way. Never shut down your Mac. Just close it and next time you use it, open it. It's great at resuming things. Don't use this green button to go full screen if your Mac has a notch. It makes no difference. In fact, don't use any of these buttons. They're tiny and annoying. Use command W to close a window of an application, command M to minimize, or function F to go full screen. Trackpad is amazing, but get an external mouse if you're a pro. If you're coming from Windows, I'd suggest not comparing both OS's because macOS does everything slightly differently. It's almost as though the company that made it thinks different. If you do that, you'll end up annoyed and fall back in love with Windows because that's what happened to me. Although now, after giving it some time, I'm loving this laptop. You can't snap Windows on Mac, which is stupid. You need a third-party app for this called Rectangle. There are many other ones, better touch tool is good if you want to pay. You'll find that macOS kind of sucks out of the box, so you'll most likely install thousands of little apps to help it work the way you want to, like I have here. I link to a video with all the utilities that I use in the description. But before we get to that, that, congratulations, you're past the tutorial level, upgraded from Noob to Gold Nova 1. Go install some apps, experiment with settings, and I'll see you in the next one.